everyone and welcome back to Humble Heart Horsemanship. My name is Sabrina, this is my horse Gemini, and in today's video I'm sharing with you how to remove botfly eggs. Let's get into it. So let's talk a little bit about how the botflies lay their eggs. So a female adult botfly will locate a horse and begin to lay her eggs on that horse's body. You can find botfly eggs on different parts of your horse's body, but you'll usually see them most likely on your horse's legs, their stomach, their chest, and sometimes even their muzzle, which is just their nose. Botfly eggs look like little tiny yellow specks, and you'll usually notice them at the end of summer, beginning of fall on your horse. The reason why you want to remove the botfly eggs is because they can cause a host of problems in your horse's body. It can lead to malnutrition, um, colic, dental issues, gastrointestinal issues, and so many other things. If you're interested in learning more about the overall like nitty gritty details of how bot flies work in the horse's body, make sure to do some Googling because there's a lot of really great resources out there that will explain all of you know how they work in fine detail. So once those eggs have been laid on the horse's body, it's very itchy and very uncomfortable for the horse. So naturally, the horse will use their mouth to reach back to those areas where the eggs are and they'll start to bite at them and itch them with their nose and their mouth. When they do that though, the horses end up accidentally ingesting the botfly eggs and then once they ingest them, they go into your horse's digestive tract, uh, mainly your horse's stomach lining and they cause so many problems from there. The botfly eggs love the horse's body because it's the perfect host um, for the eggs to live and to develop and to mature in. So they love the horse's body and they will actually attach themselves to um, your horse's stomach lining. And then if you worm your horse, like most people do, um, a lot of people don't know that their horses have bot flies or a bot fly infestation, is that They'll worm the horse and then those um, bot flies will begin to detach themselves. Hey, don't push me. The bot flies will end up detaching themselves from the horse's stomach lining. And that also can be very painful and very uncomfortable for the horse. They can live up to like 10 to 12 months in the horse's body and then they'll usually pass through your horse's manure. So then You'll be looking at your horse's manure and notice that there's some bot flies in there. And with that too, uh, what happens is when your horse drops manure, um, if there's other horses or even the original horse will be eating in that area and then they can possibly um, contaminate themselves again with the bot flies and the bot fly eggs. Or another horse could come along and eat off the ground where the horse just pooped and then they're also ingesting the bot flies and it can be a whole crazy cycle that is very destructful and very painful to your horse. So to prevent yourself from having to deal with all of that because no one wants to deal with that and no one wants to have their horse you know, suffering from anything, what you can do is you can be very proactive in getting rid of those pesky bot fly eggs the instant you see them. So at the end of summer, beginning of fall, it's a really good idea to be examining your horse's body thoroughly and looking out for any of those little yellow specks. Now those little yellow specks, being the eggs, are very, very difficult to remove with like your fingernails or um, any other tool, except for something called a botfly knife. So let me grab that here. This is a botfly knife. And I bought this off of Amazon. This is a Tough One brand botfly knife. But you can find these at your local tax store, feed store, farm supply store, and they're usually really cheap. This was only like $5. So once you notice those botfly eggs, you're gonna wanna get some warm water, some soap, and your botfly knife, and you're gonna wanna remove them as soon as possible uh, to prevent your horse from doing all of that biting and itching at the bot flies so they don't end up in the horse's body. Another thing you can do to prevent a bot fly invasion in your horse 
or your herd in general, is to remove manure as frequently as possible. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to remove those pesky bot flies in a really easy way. So let's get into it. You guys will need three things to get those pesky bot fly eggs off your horse. The first is some soap. Now this is just a natural shampoo that I use to bathe the horses with, but any type of soap will work. You'll also need a bot fly knife. This is a bot fly knife from Tough One. And you'll also need some water. So it can be harder to find botfly eggs on horses with a lighter coat, like Gemini, who's a Palomino. But basically right here, you see those little tiny yellow specks? There's one there, 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 all over here. Those are botfly eggs that we're gonna be removing. And he seems to have a lot on his legs and a few up by where his cinch would go. You can even see a few up there on his belly. All right, I'm gonna start by rinsing his legs off and getting them all wet first. Making sure he's okay with the water. Now I'm gonna take my soap Get some of the soap on my hands, and then I'm gonna begin lathering up his legs. Definitely be generous with how much soap you're putting on your horse's legs. We wanna be loosening up the eggs that are on the horse's legs. And when we scrub them with soap and water, we're helping to kill them and loosen up those membranes of the eggs. So now that I have rinsed off and lathered up the area I'm gonna work on first with soap, I'm gonna take my botfly knife and I'm gonna begin scraping off each egg. You wanna hold it at about a 45 degree angle. And you can see, it's a little difficult on your end, but I can see that the eggs are being scraped off with this knife. So just keep scraping them away. Sometimes you have to go over an egg a few more times than what you might like because they're stubborn. But that's okay. Make sure to be as gentle as you can. You know, you don't want to hurt your horse accidentally. Sometimes we got to keep scraping away though because some of these guys really don't want to come off the horse. Make sure you're wearing your glasses for this one, folks, because those little eggs are so small, sometimes you miss a few. I'm gonna work a little bit on, I'm gonna work a little bit on Gemini's belly here because he's got a few bot flies I can see. It can just be so itchy and irritating for the horses to have these bot fly eggs. They're just really frustrating. And sometimes they'll get stuck up here underneath your horse's like elbow. Like see there's some right there. You can't really see very well, but I can see them. You do not have to use soap and water, but it definitely makes getting the eggs off a lot easier. Uh, you can just use the botfly knife, but I find that the water and soap really helps to loosen them up, and you can kind of scrape them off a bit easier than if you didn't use them. I hope you guys have learned something new today about botflies and how to remove them from your horse. I know your horse will definitely thank you for doing this. <laughs> If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. And Gemini and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.